Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn Web Coding. My name is Durgesh Sahani and we are creating series of video tutorial for Docker. So in the previous session we have seen what is Docker file and how to build an image on top of a Docker file. Now in this session I'm going to show you what is Docker Compose and how to use it uh, for creating your application, Docker application. Okay. So first let's uh, go to the uh, docker official website and go to the documentation from here and select this docker compose so from this official side you can read uh, and get more information about it compose is a tool for defining and running multi container docker applications with compose you use uh, yaml file to configure your application services so what uh, it means is uh, you can con configure multiple container applications and uh, you can run it in a single command. So for example, see here, uh, I'm using this XAMPP and it, XAMPP have all the necessary services like Apache, uh, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, Tomcat in a single place. Wherever I want to start, whichever service I want to start, I just click, simply click on start and it start, right? So similarly, uh, you can consider a docker compose where you configure in this XAMPP control panel here all the services are already configured and uh, by clicking on this button you are able to start that service right or stop the service similarly you configure all the services like php uh, apache uh, php mysql and whatever other services you want uh, if for your container you can configure all those services and by using some commands of uh, docker like docker compose up so it will start all your services in a single command okay so and this is the syntax uh, i mean this is the file uh, name docker compose dot y ml this is how you create a file and this is the syntax for uh, writing uh, compose a compose file so here you have to specify version then services then the number of services here service name Similarly, you can write multiple services name. Then uh, inside the service name, you have that build or image, uh, then ports, volumes, links, right? So here you can see uh, web and Redis. They are two different services. And here they are specifying the image. And here uh, they are building this uh, by using Docker file. So I'll give you an example how you can build a Docker file for running PHP and MySQL parallelly okay so let's start now let's create this docker compose file and if you want to see the versions so here you can go to the reference and then uh, compose file so here you can see the number of versions they have so current version is 3.7 so um, let's go there and first create compose file so for me i'm just going to create here docker compose okay oops i have created directory just remove it and create a file name it docker compose and if you see here so this is the version and this is how we can write our uh, compose file so version we have specified then services whatever services name you want to give so i'm just going to give web or website or whatever you want now the parameters you can uh, specified over here is build so build I'm just going to say build this image based on this docker file okay because the docker file is here only at the same directory so I'm just saying dot uh, if it is in some other directory then you can provide that location now the next one is and one more thing I want to show you here as we are running the docker run command so you can see we are providing dash p right so it's a port now next one is uh, for mounting the directory so volumes we are specifying the volume so similarly you can specify all those things over here so build we have specified now the next one is uh, see uh, yeah port we have then uh, volumes we have right here volumes so here you have to write volumes and uh, dash and then the volumes uh, I'm going to say that current directory and then look for site folder as 
here we have and move this side folder to as we already know it should be mapped with where www and html right now the next one is we can specify it ports and ports can be mapped with 8080 right. so i think that's it if you do this thing it will start your php uh, php service now the next one is i want to configure one more service which is uh, for database so you can give any name to it so like database or db or whatever you want so i'm just going to say db okay Oops. it should be um, aligned okay keep it as it is no problem db and here the first thing is image so if i'll open the command prompt and i'll show you docker images so i have currently one image which is php and if you want to uh, get the mysql then here only at the home page you will able to find this mysql and uh, command name is uh, image name is mysql and here is the here are the tags so which version of mysql you want based on um, the tags you can get that so i want mysql so what i will do here is i'll say now this time fetch image and the name of image is mysql now see here you can see now here i'm building this this image based on docker file and uh, database i am pulling it because i don't have uh, in my local machine so it will pull that image for me now the next one is again we have to uh, map it with some our current directory so i'm just going to create a new directory here and name it whatever you want so i'm just going to say db data so let's say dot slash db data and mapped uh, it with see if you go here and look for the directory where the mysql uh, data should be at linux machine so here i think there somewhere they have given the path uh, oh yeah here you can see mount this is how you can, we can mount your current directory colon this is the uh, location so i'm just going to um, use this over here and the next one is port basically we have to specify so here i'm going to say ports and mysql default port is 3306 colon 3306 okay one more thing if you want to uh, set some environment very uh, environment variables so you can say that here see environment variables for mysql so if you want to uh, set some default root password then you can use this mysql root password and uh, so here i'm just going to say environment and this is the variable name colon whatever the value you want to specify so i'm just going to say one two three four and five and one more uh, variable we will set which is mysql database i want to create a new database while uh, it, it build the image okay so here i'm going to say database colon let's say it docker uh, database okay whatever uh, name you want you can give now save this file and i think we are done we have uh, written both the we have configured both the uh, application you can see here now let's go to the command prompt again and say docker um, compose oh, it, it won't work we have to go to the directory where we have that file so in my case it is on tutorials dockers and if you see here here i am i am having this docker compose file so here you have to say docker compose and up this is the command which you should use to build 
uh, the images. Here I think we have some mess. Save this file and wait a minute. Let's stop this. Otherwise, it won't. It affects. It might affects our uh, process. So let's do it again. Yeah, it's working now. So it's creating a image based on our uh, Docker file, and now. Uh, it have published it now it, it is done now the next time uh, next thing is it will build or it will pull the image from mysql and then it will run both the services so let's wait for some time okay so you can see it is uh, now it is pulling the image from uh, the server docker hub so it's almost done okay so here you can see creating docker web 1 and docker db 1 so it is creating both and here you can see both are running now so if i'll open another command prompt and i'll show you docker ps minus or let's say ps because both the images are running so here you can see mysql and docker web so these are the two uh, processes are running and here you can see one is sharing port 3306 and another one is 80. so if you want to connect uh, with uh, this mysql database from the workbench or uh, even from the command prompt so this is how you can let's say docker there is a command execute okay so you can say docker docker execute and pass on parameter interactive mode of uh, this command prompt and then command id sorry container id and then bash so here you have the access of that machine and if you say mysql user root and hyphen oops here you have to say u u user root and p password as you remember we have given one two three four and five right so if you go here to a file you can see here here i have provided one two three and four and five so um, wait a minute yeah now if you hit enter you can see now i am i'm having access of mysql now if i'll say show databases so as you remember i already have created a database name called docker database so here it is so you can see now my database is running and uh, if you look for php php code so it should also run at localhost here you can see i have copied this uh, site folder and inside folder we have this index file and this that interface that index file is loading through this uh, that container of php okay and here you can see the logs and uh, uh, for db and for uh, web so and if you want to connect that database from the workbench i'll also show you that here you can see ah, it's my local run cancel let's create a new connection and name it docker db host name should be uh, we can keep this one as it is and db name let's uh, no problem here provide the password one two three four and five okay okay click and here you can see now we have here a database which we were uh, we were created so now we have connected to that uh, container database with our workbench also you can create a uh, table in it uh, within it if you want similarly and that table should be uh, let's name it um, test with id and name okay uh, that's it this 
create it so it's finish if you see here we have one database test if you go to the command line and say use this database oh. so use this and show tables here you can see the tables which we have created just from the workbench here it is and if you say describe test here you can see id of int and name of firecare 45 so here we have and one more thing i want to show you which is as you remember we have created this uh, db underscore database which was blank but you can see here it have created some files and folders to storing the data okay and uh, here is the database which we have created this is the directory and here is the test uh, out table right so i hope you understand the concept of uh, docker uh, what is docker compose file and uh, how to run multiple how to configure multiple application and run uh, docker application so thank you very much guys for watching if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos share with your friends if you have any doubts please do let me know in, in comment box and in the next video i'll uh, show you how to run php how to connect this database uh, mysql database from php so let's meet in the next video thank you again for watching